Video game magazines drive me crazy. I used to get the PlayStation magazine, and I loved the PlayStation magazine because their reviews made fucking sense. They were the only, they were the only magazine or website or anything where I actually agreed with with almost all of their ratings. Which I, I'm not going to agree with all of them because people have different opinions. But I agreed with the vast majority of their ratings. They were very unbiased with their ratings. I get Game Informer because. PlayStation Magazine went out of business. Game Informer is the shitty... I mean, it's not the shittiest. It's not the worst, okay? It's not IGN or GameSpot fucking territory. But Game Informer's pretty bad. They're not They're not unbiased at all. You know, you, they have a damn... article or a, a commercial advertisement on one page for Halo Master Chief Collection, and then you turn the page and it's like... Halo 3 just got a fucking 10. And you're like, mm-hmm, yeah, right. They didn't they didn't influence your decision at all. I don't actually know if that I'm, if you're if you work at Game Informer and you're watching this, I don't know that you I I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying that, that people pay you off to make your make your shit. I'm just saying it's a possibility. But more so, I just disagree with half the shit. Like, they gave Okay. They gave Bloodborne a 9.75, I believe. That game doesn't even come anywhere close to a 9.75. And I know what you're thinking. I know you're I know you're watching this and you're going, Bloodborne was a great game. It deserved a good score. It is a good game, okay? I'm not arguing that. I played Bloodborne through twice. Haven't gotten the platinum yet. Probably will, because it's not that hard. I just need to do some more grinding and shit. But it's a good game, okay? It's a great game. It's it's a 8.59 territory game. But in in Game Informer's magazine, they 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 list out the rating systems. And under 10, they put like perfect game. Literally zero nothing wrong with the game. So to give it a 9.75 is basically telling everyone that's reading the magazine this game is extremely close to perfect. There's like one thing wrong with this game, and that's it. The rest of the game is fucking flawless. Okay. Then I read their like actual review of it, and most of it's about like, oh the fighting system's good and the graphics are amazing and stuff like that. Okay. But riddle me this, Batman. How do you give a game a 9.75 when there's an unbelievably... There's a laundry list of things that they didn't do in Bloodborne that they did in Dark Souls 2. Like a laundry list of things that I could rattle off from the amount of different types of enemies, the amount of different types of weapons, the amount of different types of items, to the length of the game, to the soundtrack of the game, to everything from here, uh, everything. Everything about that game is smaller than its predecessor, than Dark Souls 2. It's on a new console, and it has less of legitimately everything. The fighting system is better, the graphics are better. Everything else is worse. In some way, shape, or form. The bosses are stupid, but that's beside the point. Maybe you think the bosses are cool. But the fact is, there's less of them. Okay, I'm just going off of facts. I'm not even going off of opinion. I'm just going off of facts. The facts that there's less bosses, less weapons, less items, less places to go. The game's shorter. There's less NPCs. There's less side quests. All of that stuff. That's just facts. There's no opinion there. It's just literally the fact of the matter is there's less stuff. And it's on a system that should be pumping out more rather than less and I understand 
it's a new system, so they have to get used to the system, that's fine. But don't tell me that they can spend months on updating the graphics, but they couldn't spend a couple weeks coming up with a couple more weapons. Because you can't tell me that the game couldn't handle it. It could fucking handle it. Okay, Dark Souls 2 had like a, a jabillion weapons, and Bloodborne has like fucking 12. Like, legitimately like fucking 12, and none of them are good. I used the fucking staff that I got at the beginning of the game throughout 1.5 playthroughs. I beat the whole game, and then beat half the game again with the damn staff, and I never found a better weapon to use. That's how shitty the fucking weapons are. And I'm, it's not just me either. I talked to two other people who also played the game that also used their starting weapon throughout almost the entire game. Like, that should not happen, no matter what. That shouldn't happen. That's stupid. Why? Why? So, regardless, I'm not saying it's a bad game, but how do you give a game a 9.75 if it's got all these flaws? And not only that, but there's a flaw in the game, there's a memory leak in the game that if you leave it on too long, all of the bosses lose half of their moveset because of a memory leak, a problem, a retarded problem they had when they programmed the game. So I was like, how, how do you, how do you look at this game and go, it's totally flawed in all these aspects, but give it a 9.75? Give it a nine because it's a really fun game, even with its flaws. It's still a really fun game. Give it a nine. I wouldn't really argue that much. I think it deserves less than that, but I wouldn't argue with a nine. But a 9.75? Where? How the? Where? Where do you come up with that number? Because a lot of people played it. Because it has good graphics. Because it's on the PS4. Where? Where do you get that number? I don't understand. And they... Game Informer does that shit all the time. They give games a retarded fucking... review. When it's really... Like, if you just look at it, if you really look at it, from an unbiased perspective, it is not the greatest game ever fucking made. It's just... It came out and everyone liked it. So they're like, okay, give it a good rating. Because... Like, if Grand Theft Auto came out and it had a bunch of problems, but everyone liked it, and Game Informer was like, eh, 7, people would be pissed off, because they're like, no, this is a great game. So I think they have to kind of cater towards the public, because they can't give games that people love a bad rating, or else it makes them look bad. Which is stupid. Just be honest and be like, sorry, I know you like the game, but it fucking sucks, and this is why. And then maybe people will start playing good games instead of playing Call of Duty all the time. Ugh, that was a mouthful. That was a rantful. But it's true. That's what I think. If you don't think the same way, that's fine. I, 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 I don't... I don't expect you to keep my opinion on all things. I'm just giving my opinion because we're just grinding. And... It looks like... At least that's level 4 now. So we're doing a little better. I think I'll... How much gil do I have? I'm not really making much gil because I have to keep healing and it costs fucking 80 gil to heal. But I'm hoping for another ogre battle or something to get a bunch of gil. And then I can buy new weapons or something because that's... Oh my... Holy shit! This is... I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully, hopefully just kill something. Kill him? Oh, that's not gonna kill him. And while, while we're ranting about new games, I have one other thing to rant about that, that I just can't stand. Why? And I... I could be wrong on this, okay? If, if you have it, if you, if you know why this is, then feel free to comment. And I'm not saying that I am the end-all be-all correct answer on this. I'm probably wrong. But why, why are new console games so much smaller than old console games when the console first comes out? And I know like everyone's first reaction is, well, it's probably because they're getting used to the new console. But I don't, I don't think that's really true. Like I would understand that when going from like the Nintendo to the Super Nintendo because there was a lot of new technology and stuff and even then 
it wasn't true back then. They didn't do that shit back then. Like, Mar Super Mario was fucking longer than Mario. Like, they didn't do that shit. But nowadays, you take a game, any game on PS3, and it's, it's fucking sequel on the PS4 is smaller in almost every way. Need for Speed is... Go, just look... Go Google uh, Google Need for Speed Most Wanted or Need for Speed um, what was the other one? Whatever, whatever the ones on PS3, okay? Look at all of the games, all of the Need for Speed games on PS3, okay? And then look up Need for Speed Rivals, the first one on PS4. And tell me anything in that game that there was more of. Anything. The map, smaller. Cars, less. The story, shorter. The side quests to do, less. The stats that it keeps for you, less. Why? Why why do that? Why? Why is it less? Why is why is the new need for speed game less than the old ones? I don't get it. People I'm guessing people's natural reaction would be they're getting used to a new system. But I call bullshit on that. Because it's the PS4 is built like a PC. So they should know how to fucking program on it. It should be like easier to program on it. And there's obviously much more room now to add things. Why why is there less shit? I'll tell you why. This is the only reason why I can come up with. Because they fucking rush it. They always fucking rush it. Every time a new system comes out, everybody and their mother has to release a game on it the first year. Wait. Just wait. Wait. Stop. Rush. Just wait. Be like Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog's the only fucking company that I know of that waits. That makes games correctly. Every other company. It's like, oh, there's a PS4? Alright, we, we're gonna release a new Need for Speed game that's half done. Just so it's PS4, so people see Need for Speed PS4 and buy it. And you know what? It fucking works. Because I go out and buy fucking Rivals, thinking that, oh, it's Need for Speed on PS4. This is going to be great. It's going to be like Most Wanted, but with more cars and a bigger map and blah, blah, blah. And it's not. It's less. I complete the game in fucking five hours, and I feel like I just wasted all my money. It's bullshit. It pisses me off. I don't know why they do that. People get mad when game companies push the dates of their games back. I get excited. I get very happy when they push their games back because it means they're fucking working on it and not being like, oh, well, let's just release it anyways. It's fucking nonsense. I don't... It's like, just... Why even make a new system if everyone's just going to rush it out and make it less than the PS3 was? For the graphics? Oh, the graphics! Everyone needs better graphics. I don't give two shits about graphics. I'm playing a game where my damn black mage looks like he's got squares for hands. Actually, everyone's got squares for hands. Everyone's got the same hands. They're squares. Do I care? No. This game's fantastic. I play this game fucking every day. Where's my ship? Didn't I get the ship? Guys? Didn't I get the ship? Why isn't it there? I thought I got the shit from this file without dying. Maybe I did. Maybe I died. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Stop. You know, I'm starting to wish I didn't have my mages. Like, I think if I could go back and choose my party again, I think I would take that red mage. Just so I could have an open slot and have like another warrior or something, because these mages, until I get some good magic, they just kind of die and don't do much. Because they run out of magic too quick, it's like, they just, they only get to use three spells, and I'm, I have a fight every other fucking step. It's not really worth it at that point. It's 
So I hope you enjoyed this uh, edition of Death Unites Us Plays Old Games while ranting about new games. There are some, there are some good games, good new games. But you know, lately, I've just been playing indie games, like Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's a fantastic game. I feel like the only companies that make good games anymore are indie companies that take their time with their games. And big studios are just being idiots. Like, don't even... Like, fucking Ubisoft, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? I haven't been a fan of... Assassin's Creed since the first one so I have no my opinion doesn't mean jack shit but holy shit did they fuck up Assassin's Creed like I talk to people who wear Assassin's Creed shirts on a daily basis and they tell me they fucked up Assassin's Creed if you can't if you can't do Assassin's Creed correctly to people who eat and sleep Assassin's Creed then you're fucking up somewhere cause you could have made Assassin's Creed 1 with better graphics and everyone would have fucking shit their pants like that's all you had to do but you fucked it up hardcore Assassin's Creed is going down the damn toilet and, and I wonder why, too, when they're making, like, three Assassin's Creed games at the same fucking time. Why not? Why not? See, I don't have the ship. Why don't I have the ship? I swear. I did this already. But whatever. But yeah, I... They... Just... Fucking take your time and make a good game. Why... why is everyone just money hogs? I mean, I... I kind of understand why they'd be money hogs, because a lot of video game companies are having money problems. I think we'd have be better games if the video game industry wasn't such, like... Uh, the industry's good, but the companies are doing bad. I don't really understand why, but... You know, you, you hear all these stories about companies laying off workers and presidents stepping down and everything. But the video game industry is booming better than ever. So I don't really understand why. I haven't done enough research on that topic. But for whatever reason, uh, video game companies are having a hard time making money. So they end up shortcutting and making, like, instead of making one good Assassin's Creed game, they make three shitty ones. And everyone buys them anyways, and they get their money. So I understand why they do it. I just wish they didn't have to do it. You know? I wish I wish they didn't have to fucking do that shit. Lamp. Cures darkness. Silence prevents foes from casting spells. No bolt. Reduces lightning damage by 80%. Raises evasion. Yeah, you suck. It looks like they sell new shit, so like, if I want the old spells, I have to go back to the old town. Which kind of sucks, but... Ice... Binds foes with heavy fog... Raises attack by 14 points... Is that... Can I cast that on someone else? Or is it on me? Slows foes down... These are level 2. I'm gonna buy this. Because it's level 2, so I'll have more uses. I can use my level 1s and my level 2s. And hopefully it won't be as useless. Now, can I get a new weapon for death? Because he sucks really bad. Hammer. Why is the hammer only 10 bucks? That's weird. Broadsword, Battle Axe, these are the same, Scimitar, I'm buying this, it says it's better for him too, I will buy two,
That's a little better. Oh, it's a lot better accuracy, that's nice. Huh, <laughs> Jen gets the hammer. Does the staff not, like, help with magic? I guess not. So might as well give her the hammer, right? I just can't, I can't imagine a white mage running around with a hammer. Like, I'm going to heal my comrades and then beat you in the face with a hammer. What's up, armor guy? Can I get anything to help? I can get leather gloves. I can get two of them. Alright. Um, let's give it to you because you keep fucking dying. And you because you keep fucking dying. I only increased defense by one, but that's fine. That's double my white mage's defense, so shit. What a, what a good buy. Alright, we're gonna go outside. We're going to get into enough fights to get enough money to save. We're going to save. And then we're going to... Oh, there's my ship. Oh, yeah, right. I just got it. Duh. I'm going to get it. Um, and then we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to leave the town and see how far we can get before we die. <laughs> That's the goal. That scimitar is badass. Let's see if death can do any damage now. 17, that's not bad. I'll take it. It's better than before. Oh, look at that! 24 damage coming out of Jen. Two hit? How'd you do two hits? You can do two hits with the scimitar? The scimitar keeps getting better and better. I'm gonna get into a woods fight. Fight me in the woods. A lizard! Oh my god, you do no damage to the lizard. Except fucking Mike. Holy shit. I wanna know why Mike's doing two hits. Is that because he leveled up a bunch, or... Is it because the scimitar is fast, or has a lot of accuracy, or what? What, what makes him do two hits? I don't know. But it's awesome. That's all that matters. Ooh, Jen got an extra cast on her cure. Is that from going up levels too? That's fantastic. Going up levels is the shit, man. I gotta do it more often. You wanna talk about other things that piss me off in games? When leveling up doesn't help. Like, what's the point of leveling up to get stronger? But there's some games out there that you level up and it doesn't really help you in any way. And that shit's bullshit. Just saying. Holy crap, Mike just did 80 damage. That was insanity. Gigas Worm. Mike is doing so much damage. It's insanity. I'm half tempted to like stay here and get enough gill to buy that plated armor. Because then I think Mike would just be absolutely indestructible with that armor. Like completely and utterly undefeatable. I still have a bunch of life. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep farming. How long have I been recording? An hour? A little more than an hour, I think. I gotta decide how long I'm gonna go today. I wanted to go a little longer than like an hour and a half because I'm gonna make these like 30 minute episodes 
and I want to have a little more than three episodes ready so I can keep getting these out like in a steady pat fashion like one or two a week maybe even three a week so uh, I want to try to record as much as I can but I also have other things to do so I don't know it's 11 o'clock well 11 17 now maybe I'll go until uh, until um, until lunchtime I was thinking about eating lunch and then coming back but I think maybe I'll just quit at lunchtime that should be a good time to stop I think Oh, four crazy horses. Please don't kill death. And there they go, attacking death, of course. Man, Mike just took one out in one shot. What a badass. You know, speaking of Mike, he started a Batman Arkham Knight Let's Play. And I hope you check it out, because it's pretty awesome. Uh, for those of you wanting to know if the game's any good and whatnot, you can certainly watch it for... To, to see that, um, but also just watch it because he's a funny guy and the series is good. He, he did a let's play of all the other Batman games, so, uh, you know, following up with that, just got the Arkham Knight now. It should be a pretty good let's play. He's he's honestly better at let's plays than I am. Uh, he, that's more his wheelhouse. You know, my wheelhouse is kind of the tutorials and the, the scripted stuff. And uh, then doing stuff live, which I'll be doing soon, hopefully, when I get my new computer. Um, and his wheelhouse is more of the Let's Play stuff. Uh, and then uh, those comedy videos that, that we do, like uh, GTA Thursdays and whatnot. Um, so, so he's more well-versed in Let's Play stuff. He's done tons of Let's Plays. This is only my... Um... How many Let's Plays have I done? I did the Mega Man Let's Play, but the Mega Man Let's Play was really long. That was like... That was like 10 Let's Plays in one, because it was every Mega Man game. I did the Doom Let's Play, which never finished because my computer hates me. Um, how much money I got? 288, that's not bad. We're going to rest and save, and we're going on an adventure. Uh, I think... Is that all the Let's Plays I've done? I think that's all I've done. I feel like there's one more I'm missing. Or two, or whatever. But I can't even remember. It's been too long. But uh, he's done tons of Let's Plays. He did all the Batmans. He did a bunch of Call of Duty Let's Plays. He did... Uh... Hotline Miami 1 and 2 so he's got a ton of ton of stuff he did Last of Us um God, this guy always gets in my way dickhead so uh so yeah should I go on the boat no I'm just gonna walk I'm gonna walk and see what I can find I need like a bike. I need the bike from Pokemon. That's what I need. Just did fucking 30 damage. This lizard. He's an asshole. And why am I fighting him in a plane? Isn't he supposed to show up in forests? I don't know, but Mike does two hits every time now and it's fantastic. And I hope he never stops. There's a port there, so I could have I could have driven my ship up here actually. But I'm afraid to go on the ship because of fucking sharks. So sharks are no fucking joke. Try to try to even tell me you wouldn't be terrified of a shark jumping up on your ship and beating you up. You'd be fucking terrified. I can hold down X if that would automatically attack because that'd be awesome 
I'm gonna try that next time. I just got 121 gil from that. That's, that's a good amount of gil. What is up here? There we go. Yeah. That's awesome. Gassed. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Fuck, why do they always gang up on death? Why does that always happen? Mike is doing much less damage now, and everyone's getting paralyzed. And this is fucking bullshit. Oh, I'm fucked. Look at how fucked I am. On a scale from 1 to fuck, I am a number 10. Alright, well. Hope you guys are enjoying watching me get fucking demolished. Run! Run, Jen! Run your ass! Run away! I don't know what just happened there. I think my analog stick keeps, like, making me go through the whole menu on accident. Well, I do not want to continue on this journey anymore. I have fucking two people dead. Son of a bitch. I just wanted to go on an adventure. And this is what happens. Eighty-five damage, holy shit. What a super badass. Alright, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna heal, and then take the ship over the- oh, I don't know. I'll probably just go the other way, because fuck. That way is obviously too damn hard for my shitty team. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Damn it! I have to revive my people before I rest. I just wasted a bunch of gill. Stop dancing. Now isn't the time to dance. Now is the time to be sad because I just wasted a bunch of money. Go in the door. The control in this game is not the best. Or the control on my controller is not the best. Or my fingers aren't the best. I don't know. One of them. One of them is not the best. Do I have enough money to buy some more things? Not really. Fuck. Why are there two sets of beds? I have to figure this out. After we're done sleeping. beds over here too. Ooh, da -da. Okay. Anyways. Okay, this time we're not gonna die. 